Hey everyone, welcome to The Tune-Up, a Shop Monkey podcast where we talk about the automotive industry and car care, specifically 99% of the car's life that's been outside of the dealership. Today, we're excited to have our first ever SEMA podcast and an amazing guest joining us for today's conversation. We're going to have Chris Stewart from GridLife joining us in for today's conversation, director and founder of GridLife. Correct. Awesome, nice. guys. Super excited to kick off today's conversation. And before we jump into some introductions and everything else, let's just talk about SEMA for a second. Yeah. We've been here three days now. Chris, you've been here three days? I got here Monday. Okay. Um, so yeah, yeah, three, yeah, three days, days. Yeah, three, yeah, three and a half. Yeah. We all three fly in or did drive in? I drove uh, in. Flew in, okay. so from Chicago, nice. so okay. flew in, yeah. Awesome. Three days in, what are some things we're either liking or disliking on the show floor? Chris, I'm going to put you on the hot seat for a second. Okay, I'll right. let you go first. So I'm going to talk high level. I don't want to get like specific on any like one <laughs> yeah. build or one vehicle. I'd like, like a booth number. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, well, I've got the, I've got notes. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so I mean, being, uh, you know, uh, I'm 46. So, you know, like I got into cars in the Fast and Furious era. So mm -hmm. I'm always looking for older cars, yeah. uh, you know, cars that are like kind of the things that I'm starting to collect. So there's a, there's a CRX and the tread pass, Ooh, uh, that the was Toyo tread pass. Yeah. Which is, that's, that's the, that's the top car I spent, you know, I like looked at all the details, you know, so I'm a CRX owner. That was my second car. I still own like that car that like brought me into this community and into this world. I actually feel um, scared. I have like six CRXs <laughs> saved on my Facebook marketplace oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. right so, now. <laughs> so like I'm, I'm looking at all like it's always really cool. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, it's always cool to see like what people are doing with new cars, you know, so yeah. like that that's interesting to see where the industry is going. But it's also really interesting to see like uh, where the industry has come and then how it gets applied to the things that like, yeah. Yeah. you know, that like when I was in the thick of it, right? right. I don't, I don't build cars. Really. Yeah. I don't build yeah. cars the way that I used to. I don't, I don't wrench in the same capacity. I mean, I still do, but like, you know, there was a time where it was like, all right, you know, clock out to the garage, yeah. you know, yeah, every yeah, day, yeah. every yeah. day, you know, and, uh, you know, it's really cool to see how, uh, you know, uh, the industry has evolved from a tech perspective, from, you know, a preferences and a style perspective. And then when it gets applied to, you know, kind of that, uh, you know, those older vehicles like that back down that like, the, yeah, yeah. That, that's where I get like, like super, super stoked. It's almost, like, almost like genres of vehicles and they come back in waves some 100%. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, yeah, it's like, oh, what, Garage Rock is back. Right. So that's awesome okay toyo tread pass honda crx yeah so like right. yeah, and, and, and it, there's a few other like you know vehicles of kind of like that era like and anything honda too i think it's really cool what uh you know uh honda how honda's booth has evolved into like yeah. hrc they do have and, an like, awesome the, booth and like uh you know now it's like all racing so like being that also like yeah motorsports you know like motorsports is like kind of the the niche that i finally fell into that was like the end you know like the last chapter sure. of my sure. automotive yeah. journey so like anything race car you know like down for race car stuff yeah. <laughs> um things that uh have been maybe odd uh the the tire hall is real odd to me the, you know like oh, the, the, whole, the whole the whole yeah, yeah, thing yeah. so like i, I started coming <laughs> a lot to, of brands in here I, I started coming to sema and uh you know in 2014 right and like falcon was out front you know like in that hall and like um you know now it's just there's there's such a volume of players, uh, particularly in like that category, we were mm -hmm. like walking through and like collecting all of like the taglines, and we're like, I don't know if that makes sense for tires. <laughs> <laughs> so, Be so free. I think that, that's pretty broad. Let go. That's pretty broad strokes, but like I like walk, I walked through the hall, and I was like, I don't, I don't quite know what I'm. I'm not like I'm not I'm not a tire buyer, so like I'm yeah. not even, I'm not even the audience, but I was like I don't know what I'm looking at, <laughs> you know. So, so that would be like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk down on anything specifically, sure, but like right. that that was like kind of the broad It was broad confusing strips. to me personally. Yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not uh, yeah, commenting was like, on hey, tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, huh. Confusing is probably I'm going to go fine. to the other hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, hey, guys, you got a sick hall. I'm yeah, just going to leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through this tread pass, yeah. right? Which is like the tread pass always has yeah. really, awesome, yeah, really awesome rad vehicles. That's what yeah, you were like, talking about, right? That's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I went and took some photos over there, it's and like, I couldn't it, believe it's the like the first. It's the there. first place that, like, for builds, you know, and, like, unique styles yeah. and, and, like, all different types of cars, uh, you know, like, that's that's always, like, a high, a yeah. high nice. point oh, yeah. know, now, every year. Not, not to tangent us too much, but you, you mentioned something that's been on my mind around the idea of, like, older cars, right? And and part of me, I same generation, right? I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 40, so I'm that same generation, Fast and Furious cars. That's when I got into it. Um, 
do you think that part of that is just, hey, that's our point in time? Like, we're interested in those cars because that's our moment where we uh, formed an attachment yeah. to it? Uh, or do yeah. you think it's like where, because we talk about it a lot where it's like, some newer cars are, are less tinkerable, right? And yeah. so there, do you think it's just <laughs> us and that's our, we're, we're frozen here? Or do you think part of it's like, there's there's less and less but prob- enthusiasm. Probably both. Yeah, 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 yeah. probably yeah. both. I yeah. mean, I think you can like, uh, you know, like auto like auto culture, car culture is, uh, you know, it's it's a um, you know like a, 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 a subculture community just like anything else, skateboarding, yeah. snowboarding, yeah. music, right? So like, um, you know, those of us that are like really like I'm really into music, but like I have to really push myself into new, you know, to like sure, discover sure, sure. new stuff, right? Yeah. So there's like a point where it's like such a part of your existence, right? It makes up so much of your identity and it's like sometimes easy to get locked, yeah. you know, yeah, in yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah. So I think that's, and and it's a, that was a, you know, I have a, so I'm Honda kid, yep, right? Yep. So I've got uh, cars that I own. I own, a, I own 10 cars. No, I, I have one, I have one really nice car. I've got, a, I've got a, a, an NSX. Collectively, I own three cars. Yeah, 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 I've, got, I've got a, yeah, collectively, I, I, own, I have three running cars. Yes, yeah. I can drive one to two cars. So <laughs> but I, I just went through this exercise where I was driving all my cars to see like how they filled my soul, you know, or like what, what they felt yeah. like. Right. So yeah. I've got, um, and I've got a, a, a Honda Acti, a key, a key van. Nice. Okay. You know? awesome. So, and, yeah. and I, I drove that and I was like, what a, what a neat little thing, you yeah. know? So like that, that would, you know, stayed on the keeper, you know, yeah. like I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, basically did the inventory of like, why, why do I have this? Sure. It's the one and that then, we all wish we fit in. So, yeah. 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 And then well. I, I have an NSX, uh, <laughs> a, a 91. Another right? car so, I don't fit in. Okay, yeah, keep going. So <laughs> the, the NSX was like kind of the, you know, when I, w- when I really got into cars, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh, That's... what an unobtainium object, yeah. you know? And then yeah. I had the opportunity to, 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 to pick one up. So I got a uh, Vin from Hoonigan was selling his. So oh, it's nice. the red oh. one that I built. So, and, and awesome. I like, I, he came out to our Willow Springs event and, and I was like, Hey, you ever, you ever sell that thing? Like, let me know. And he's <laughs> like, Hey, I'm selling. I was like, God, <laughs> I really set myself up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was just, I was able to like figure it out, you know? So like that became, I'm like, all right, my, my collection is done, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. and then, so I drove that and that like, that's special. Um, and it feels, and it, yeah. yeah, and it, yeah. and it, and it feels good. But then I have a, an, an 80, uh, an 80 first gen or second gen CRX. It's an 87. It's Japanese. Nice. Um, and my second car, my first car was a, was a four door EF civic. Okay. My second yep. car was a CRX. That was the car that I like started to modify. Okay. So, and then I drove that and like, that was the back, like that one has the most back to the sandbox qualities yeah. to it. Like it's yeah. like the smells and like the feel yeah. and like, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, you know, like just these <laughs> yeah. details and like. God, what a joy. Yeah. You know, Te- and- technically my first car was an 87 Ford Thunderbird. It was a terrible vehicle and I, <laughs> but, you did, <laughs> but you love it. I have a, I have yeah. a, a vengeance debt against my neighbor that talked yeah. my mom into buying it from him. Yeah. Uh, so it was a real bummer. But the first car I bought with my own money was an 89 Civic Si. And yeah. I remember that right. feeling. And I think I've been chasing that feeling. It feels the yeah. same. And that was like kind of the thing, right? So it's like, it feels the same. It's got this familiarity, you know, it's got this like, you know, so, like whatever, whatever those yeah. those things are, where you're like, oh, yeah. yeah, you know, oh, yeah. and like, I think there's just a, there's like an element of that, you know, like you're you kind of, you know, either keep reading the same chapter and that's okay, you know, yeah. and like there's other people that like kind of move you move up market, but yeah. I also see a lot of people who like had they were deep in it and then they got rid of that car that they sunk all their energy into, and yeah. some of them, you know, like never kind of never got over <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you yeah, know, said, and then man. they just yeah. like cycle through <laughs> yeah. vehicles yeah. trying to find it again. And sure. like, yeah. it happens a lot in the books. They're like, man, That's I wish I had. Nice. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what you're talking about, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time, at the time, you know, like people who like got a, I remember when the like when the WRX came out. Yeah. So yeah. like our, before before Grid Life, we did uh, an event called the West Michigan Honda Meet. So that's like kind of how Grid Life organically grew. Is like we were doing these Honda parking lot meetups, and then we were like racing's cool and then we all found like all of our friends found out you could rent a racetrack and we like literally pulled our money together nice. and rented the racetrack on a mon- monday and like fumbled oh. through a track day <laughs> you know so we had this whole honda community that was like organically growing it. and then when the wrx came out like a bunch of my friends like sold their hondas you know like they were like they moved up in their career yeah. bracket and yeah, then they yeah. bought the oh, yeah. wrx and like natural progression some of them became subaru you know subaru kids or subaru guys but other people like <laughs> Then it like faded back, you know, and they never, they never got their Honda back, you know, yeah, like, like, yeah, like yeah. whatever they were building, you know, and these were like really, these know, guys they, have been trying to get me in a Subaru for like two years. Sure. I mean, like nothing, yeah. nothing, it's, it has nothing to do with Subarus or whatever. But the point being is like, they, you know, a bunch you of, a, a bunch of my friends, talking about they Subaru, sunk so, so much <laughs> energy into like the one thing, yeah. right? Got yeah. it to a point, you know, exchanged it and then like just chased it forever. Yeah. 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 All right. So 
Uh, don't you're chasing. You're chasing. I'm always chasing. Forever, yeah. I'm an exper- <laughs> I'm an experienced chaser. I don't care if it's up market, down market, side market, <laughs> right market. It's that I want to try, I wanna try different things. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. the way you framed it. It is that feeling. It's that yeah. nostalgia. I I had eight E36s first car being an E36, yeah, 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 and yeah. it's like the leather, the smell, the yeah. seat position. Yeah, you chase crayons. it. We all like, it's about. like, yeah. <laughs> but it's like you get in, you're like, I know this. Yeah. You know, like, I yeah. know this. Familiar. You know? yeah. 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 Well, what about you, Luke? Anything that you saw that was like well, uh, hot? This is what I'm hot on. This is what I'm cold on. Hot on. It's got to be the Toyota exhibition. Okay, I right. think I've been there four big times time. this yeah. week so yeah, far. Yeah, big time. As an actually. OEM, yeah, yeah. They're, they're absolutely killing it. The GR86 build that's out there with yeah. the GR Corolla swap and the all wheel drive that oh. kind of throwback to the Celica oh, oh, is just. Oh. Absolutely Super awesome. Cool. We just came from there right yeah, before this. And we I just, we were almost late break. because we couldn't step away from Whenever it. these guys so, are on break, someone <laughs> so, call the Toyota guys and tell them something. <laughs> so, <laughs> please <laughs> kick them out. So thought on that. So yeah. like, um, the rally so part Toyota, on the hood though, that was just, uh, that, 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 that's cake. such a, like such a good throwback yeah. and such a good oh, homage. And it, like it checks that box that we're talking about right yeah. now with yeah. that, like, oh, I remember this. Like, I remember that Celica. I remember like yeah. early YouTube videos, like watching that, you know, that, that, that WRC car and yeah. like all that stuff. But so Toyota's always had, you know, a really good presence at yeah. SEMA, right? When they were in the corner, yeah. right? But that, but, uh, you know, it was always talked about, but maybe not with the same grandeur that we're talking about it this year. Do you yeah. think it's because there's less OEMs? And they've Ooh. got and they've got the footprint and they don't have any and, competition yeah, on and, 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 yeah. and they're, they're pushing harder. So they're like, you know, the, it's it's harder to make impact when everyone's yelling. Yeah, and yeah. maybe maybe they're just they're just the loudest. They're like, now is our now. time. Now is Toyota's yeah. time. <laughs> so I mean, I guess yeah. I guess that that's been like a you know like a conversation well, about uh, all week is like yeah. what is the value of of you know what does SEMA bring to our industry like yeah. and, and yeah, how is how is that evolving you know and I, I think it still brings a ton of value yeah. right you know like in conversations like this and like yeah. but it's 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 definitely changed. I don't know if I could like say oh it's changed like this or for this thing since 2014 yeah, yeah. i think but it, like it, it's a seed that's planted right because when you think of the crowd that's here in my opinion what, what have you uh it, it's like the, you think of the crowd that here sema is your builders sema is your enthusiasts sema mm-hmm. is your fans you're, so as you're you're cycling through and you're right you're only going to see one oem while you're cycling through and it may not be like okay well tomorrow i'm switching from bmws to toyotas but yeah there is a seed that's planted and you're like as you come to these type of events and you hang with your your subculture Mm-hmm. There's only one OEM here, and that may start to make you think more more yeah. about that OEM. I, I was going to say the Supra. What, what year was it refreshed? 2020, right? Yeah. The new one. Yeah, I think so. I feel like... I didn't that, know there was going to be a test, man. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Let, let me Google that. Yeah. Google that. Figure it out. <laughs> if only I knew how to find data. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I agree with you. I think the, the lack of the presence of some OEMs is causing others to say, let's double down. Let's see what we can do for the community, for the industry. I also think Toyota's manufacturer, with their with the with the super reemerging mm-hmm. and and with the partnership and the vision they had for it, sure, controversial for some folks, but I think that sure. was their moment of like, let's let's test the waters again, let's see what we can do and push the envelope. And since then, I feel like they've been on a roll. Yeah, I I like. There's always a debate too, especially amongst our uh, you know kind of enthusiast age sure. group, right? Sure. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. If it was like this, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> remember these cars, yeah, but like, yeah. if you really look at the state of the industry from a, from a car perspective, you know, like we're kind of in a golden era now, it, like look at the, look at the check boxes that, that Toyota is going through, right? Supra, GR, GR Corolla, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like Land in a racing series. Yeah. We, yeah. Finally, we finally have yeah. a type R. We have a, yeah. the, we've got, a, the, we've yeah. got a type R, yeah. you know, like yeah. uh, the Integra's back. I know yeah. that was like controversial, but everybody like kind of quieted down when the type S showed up, yeah. but they're like, Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, all right, I'll drive. Yeah, and, then, and then they just forgot what like an LS Integra, you know, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Or, or yeah. was actually like, you know, and like they're just thinking about the 300 Type R's that were yeah. made, you know, or the like right. you know, GSRs, but like forgetting that yeah. like, yeah, you know, your your aunt had a four door. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is all those memories have been painted over. Yeah, they're just like, oh, I don't know that back door. I don't remember that maroon yeah. color at yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, well, how about you? Well, wait, what? you didn't tell me you're cold on. What are you cold on? What am I cold on? Yeah. So you set yourself up for this. Yeah, one. I did set myself up for this. One. I thought we were doing I think we're legally or. required I had to, to throw think, shade. I had to think really. I had to think really hard. And I was like, oh right. Yeah. Yeah. I re- all right. I'll, I'll say what I'm partial on. Yeah. Okay. Underglow. I uh, think hot. there's been some. The, Are you doing two th- hot ones? You can't do two. I'm good on this. No, no, no. I'm, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not hot. It's a lukewarm. It's I a lukewarm. also like this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm very That's partial it. on it. I've seen some great, great executions of it, and I think, 
I'm I'm worried that we're approaching a, a time in a time in automotive culture where we get very interesting examples of this on the road again. So, when it's tastefully done, it looks great. Yeah, man. When it's not, yeah, it, that's, you know, it looks the way it does. That's the story with that with everything, though. I mean, sure. I think the the reemergence of Underglow, uh, you know, like I think I'm I'm about it. Right. That doesn't that doesn't mean I'm going to apply it to like what I, I really do. thought you were gonna bust your jacket but, open and just have underglow <laughs> like boom. Wait, let me show you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah like uh, but I think um uh yeah, it's like uh you know, there's like kind of this homage, right? And yeah. there's like tasteful ways to apply it and yep. uh you know, I think uh there's a lot of elements of SEMA too that are like accessed by intention. Yeah. Right. Yep. You know, so like, and I think sometimes that can be a little bit dis distracting, you know, but like, I think it's, I think it's cool that like, uh, you know, things and like kind of throwbacks from those nineties, which, you know, they're coming back in a non ironic way yeah, or yeah, like yeah, being yeah, reapplied yeah. and, and those types of things. And like, I was thinking about, there's a couple of the cars, like, man, if there was like a, if there was like a, a, a SEMA throwback section that uh, like had ooh. builds from like, Frozen in time. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. how yeah, that would rad, be nice. How rad would that, that be? would be cool, yeah. right? So like, and, An and it's also like to ask for that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. If, like, if uh, anyone's listening, like shout out to the uh, <laughs> like the throttle channel and like the uh, the straight pipes channel where they brought it. They bought like old SEMA cars that had been left like oh, the old I, yeah, yeah. Sox yeah, body that, that was like this is a SEMA 2006 car. Right. Like, but, like think about yeah. you know think about that timeline right and like it's hard uh, you know like. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, like what is hot rodding, you know, yeah. that, and that conversation yeah. that's happened oh, because yeah. now, you know, individuals like myself are like starting to move into collecting. Right. Yeah. So like, yeah. what am I going to buy? Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm buying a CRX, yeah. you know, I'm like looking Another for, one? yeah, well, whatever, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. but like those, it's that, like that type of stuff. So I think it's uh so I think I think underglow is like a part of that. Yeah, you know, it's we, like a, it's like a that's part fair. of this cyclical story. We spent the whole these, intro these saying, like, yeah, you know, like oh, we we spent the whole intro being like old is better. We can't be like don't do underglow. Like, <laughs> that's old. We can't. Forget I'm not that. saying don't do well, that for I the records. The execution <laughs> when done that, like, is nice. Underglow maybe, is old. Maybe like oh, uh, <laughs> leave the Lambo <laughs> doors in the past. Yeah. Okay. We could. I think we can agree. Okay. All right. So my co-founder as well. Hey. A personal attack. Uh, so he's got his his uh, GLTC car, which is a, a proper wheel to wheel car and a very excellent build. Has Lambo doors and it's sick. Okay, <laughs> so all right, but it's it's uh, yeah, it's like I, I think he's like I always wanted Lambo doors like back in the day. <laughs> yeah. So when I uh, when I built the final version of made. my race car, you know, it's like he pulls up, you know, in pit lane, <laughs> <with him, laughs> and everyone's like, <laughs> so. Is that the red EF? Like, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Right? So, <laughs> that is so awesome. It could apply. Yeah. You know? All right. Like, so we're getting, I, I'm catching a the theme. Execution. If it's execution. executed Exec well, yeah. we're yeah. game. It's like, sure. we're game. I think you yeah. got to, like, if you're into it and you love it and you're passionate about it, it's cool. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter. Because yeah. yeah. if you're, if you come up and you're like, check out my sick Lambo. <laughs> it's hard well, not to be like, it's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Start, it starts to get in that, like, respect all builds. Yeah. 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 Like, how is it applied? And like, you know, I, I, you know, I'm a, uh, my background is I was a creative director, right? So okay. like I look at everything from an art perspective yeah, too. So sure. like, you know, there's there's uh, there's interpretation of what taste is and Absolutely. how things get applied, and yeah. like you can also do things like ironically yeah. that's cool, yeah. and you can do things like that just become <laughs> ironic and, you, and you're not, it's not intentional, oh, you know? And you like, yeah. Like, so, you know, it's all like kind of in the application, which I think if you like really dive into like kind of the weeds about it, it's the story, yeah. it's the story across the board. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. and we can both be looking at the same car and be like, I love this. And you're like, Ugh. Yeah. So, yeah. We've had a few of those moments. Yeah. All right. Let's hear it. Well, I just haven't had much time to spin it. Yeah. So I don't have much feedback to give one way or another. <laughs> I'm um, here because uh, I have a job. <laughs> and uh, I actually I've had to do that job. with my time here yeah. at SEMA. And, um, Mike is rep representing the Shop Monkey team over at Apex. So yeah, shout out to right. Apex. Shout out. Thank Great you. job, Thank Mike. You. I appreciate yeah. that. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I grew up with, uh, you, know, you know, wanting to work on cars and ended up going into it for mm -hmm. a while. And, and I grew up watching Overhauling and, yeah. and Chip Foose get builds ready. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everybody, to your point, you know, just looking forward to getting to see like what somebody can come up with, with a team of uh, people putting in a bunch of effort and yeah. crunch time. Creative yeah. directors. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> right. You know, that's that that is the allure of SEMA growing up for me. Yeah. So finally getting to come and see people 
uh, that have put all their, their heart and energy into their builds. It's just really cool, you know, to get experience that and just get to see somebody with a smile on their face, get to stand next to it and be proud. So, um, yeah, it's Mike's too authentic. We're over here like, yeah. what are you guys about, under, <laughs> yeah. you guys about underglow? And Mike's like, I just love seeing creative. I just reasons. love being. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. It's a great neons, answer, though. It's very authentic. Uh, yeah. No, you. I mean, but that's that's true. Like, you know, uh, you think about uh, the the level of builds and like the details. You know, like this is the like everything here is the flagship for whatever you're into. Yeah, yeah. you yep. know. So like, uh, if you're looking for the pinnacle of like that vehicle or you yeah, know, that type of body kit or the pinnacle of underglow, you know, you're yeah. going to find, you know, like the next That's my high school band name. Yeah, the pinnacle, pinnacle of underglow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, like you, a, was it like Kraut like... Rock? Band? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, mostly house, man. But yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying, I think you earlier were saying exaggerated, but intentional, right? Yes. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of like just going around the floor and looking at some of these cars. You can kind of see like, okay, the ridiculous body kit by itself, maybe not so much appeal. But when yeah. you look at it and stand back and see what right. somebody was putting it's, into it. Yeah. And there's, there's like it. some of that stuff is like, how far can we take it? Do we pull it back? Yeah. Right. And like yeah. maybe that application isn't, you know, real, uh, yeah. you know, like, but it's, it's. Yeah. It's, I mean, concept cars ish, but real, you know, yeah. like things yeah. that you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that, that I, can be achieved. Right. I think to your point, like as, as enthusiasts, I, I actually had this thought this morning and this is reminding me of it. The, 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 my favorite time of SEMA, this is my, this is what I'm hot on is because we're here for work. We're usually showing up about an hour, two hours yeah. early before yeah. the show opens and walking around and seeing all the teams, like wiping down that last bit of like dry detail and like just the, you see that look in the eye of like, all right, I'm just, it's just going to be perfect, yeah. you know, and like all the cars are just getting shined up. And there's that moment where you're like, yeah, man, this you is can, it. You, like, can, yeah. you can like you feel the final right. breath. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. where it's yeah. like, because, you, you know, like, uh, I mean, I'm, some people are probably more organized with their time in their efforts to get here. <laughs> sure. And some people significantly less. <laughs> uh, and a lot more of that story is exposed because, you know, uh, social media and like sure. you yeah. know, the, the seam of thrash yeah. and like the whole narrative of like how the build comes together is now like a part of the story of yep. the car that you see. You know, but like, uh, yeah, you definitely can feel that. Like we, we're not displaying this year. We displayed in the past and it's okay. like cool to see it like kind of come together and like you see when those cars you know like yeah you can yeah. also anticipate the stuff that's that's coming because mm -hmm. you like see you know the person you follow or the vehicle that you follow and you see it like come together and the story oh, yeah. unfold yep. and then yep. oh yeah i love walking by someone like, i've been watching this for two years right? yeah, oh, yeah. i know it was gonna be here yes. and all of a sudden yeah. you're like, oh, there it is yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's awesome. i was telling you about larry chen's build right i've been yeah. watching that for the last few weeks and like there's this all these little <laughs> tiny things that they put into that build and now like just to get to see that in person be yeah. like ah that's the thing that's yeah. the thing i've been watching and it we're going back to emotion. It's an emotion. Yeah. It's a, you, yeah. you see it and you're, it's almost like a personal connection to it. It's like, I've invested time in following this and it's awesome to see this in person. Yeah. And so the, it, yeah, that's yeah. the industry is, is playing on, not playing on these emotions, but really helping us thrive and kind of just keep yeah. pushing I mean, the envelope a little bit. It's a passion industry. Right. Yeah. And it, it, you know, like I, I mean, it is an industry, but like for most people, especially here, you know, it's like their it was their subculture first. Yeah, you oh, know, so it's 100%. it's just like I identify as a I identify as a, a car guy or car girl. I'm I'm a snowboarder. I'm a skateboarder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh know, yeah. Like I'm you know I'm really into punk. You yeah, know, yeah. like I love fish. I'm I like all those head, things. You know, like <laughs> so like all those things like make up the fabric of like your you know your story and then like uh the like car builds and the car that you choose and like how you choose to present it is like yeah. an extension of your preferences, yeah. 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 you know? So like, it's, it's, it's cool. And if you can like think about the, you know, that, that, that storyline through, you know, yeah. it also makes it, uh, um, you know, that respect all builds like becomes sure, easier, sure. Yeah, you yeah. know, because, uh, you know, you've got context, Yeah, yeah. you know? So I want to be, uh, <clears throat> uh, like a good podcast hosting person here. What, what, what do we, I know we have some questions queued up, so let's... I need to hear what you weren't a fan of, and then we're going to jump into that. You know what? So I'm also here for work, so I'm not a fan of subwoofers. That's really been the bane <laughs> of my... Okay, well, that, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. That and, there, and there's... That's, that's, yeah, that's contextual yeah. To, to where you yeah. exist yeah. Yeah. in the show, <laughs> throughout the show. I don't want to say I'm, like, oh. super zen, but I very much live in the moment, so... Yeah. Wait, is that, yeah. is that, is that right subs now? or is that air compressors? I thought it was... Both. Both. No, it was oh, yeah. 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 Probably both. I'm just saying, yeah. do you have to run your lathe in the inside of the show? That <laughs> I get it. What about air compressors that have subs built in? Oh, Well, now I'm back in. <laughs> yeah, no, I was out, but now I'm back in. 
what Thank about you. neons around the outside? Okay, now we're getting so, all right, crazy. No. Stop recording. New business. Uh, <laughs> Underglow no. subbed air compressors. <laughs> Hashtag throw, see between Throw that into an AI generator. I want to yeah, see yeah, yeah, the yeah, outcome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, no, we, we're talking automotive culture, but also the next generation. Chris, grid life has a massive influence on the industry and I mean, you guys have evolved significantly over over the last eleven um, years. Yeah, tw- going into year twelve. So going yeah, into year like, twelve. Uh, but I mean, the story starts all the way back to two thousand four. You know, uh, with with Honda Meet, that was the first the first time we ever did racetrack stuff. Okay. You know, and but but Grid Life, uh, first Grid Life was twenty fourteen. And nice. if I remember, I, I was looking into this a little bit. You went to a couple non Honda events where where maybe it wasn't wasn't the right place for for the Hondas to be there. Uh, well, it was just a. Uh, I mean, just I think the. Like the track day culture as a whole, you know, and when I started getting into or wanting to like step into that, you know, that that part of the industry or like make that, you know, get into track racing. It, there just wasn't a lot out there. Right. Yeah. You know, there right. wasn't a lot of like track day organizations, yeah. you know, like it hadn't quite hit mainstream, right. you know, yet. So it was, you know, there was a lot of professional or like, you know, like these sanctioning bodies, SCCA, you know, NASA. BMW club, yeah. a couple other ones that like weren't BMW club or weren't Porsche club, but like had yeah. a bunch of Porsche, yeah. you know, like for whatever reason. So it wasn't that they, it's just the, it just, you felt a little bit like an outsider, right? Yeah. Nobody was mean yeah, sure. you know, no, no, or no. anything like that, but it was just like, where's my people? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, uh, I mean that, that's like a, it's like a thing across the industry too, you know, yeah. like where, you know, it's, it's music, right? Like yeah. you can be in, I'm, I'm into, you know, you can be into punk, yeah. right. But like, you're actually into like ska yeah you know and yeah. like and like the other people who are once into- you get in the punk door there's very sub yeah sub- i mean but that's like anything it's yeah. like you're into dance music but actually i look really like drum and bass but i hate big room house yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, okay. so like and car culture is the same way right so i think it was just a little bit of that and like you know i was you know early 20s you know at that yeah. point you know going into these environments with like people who are now my age yeah. you know and like i don't know so like but that was old dudes like me that was it so it just like kind of organically evolved as like yeah. we were just doing the thing like building the event we wanted to be at. But that's an awesome point you made. You said you were in it when you were 20 years old with folks who are now your age, right? Older. Would you say that grid life today is influencing and kind of shaping the next generation of automotive professions, enthusiasts, kind of folks that want to be in this industry? I think it's, it's really interesting. We've been talking about, um, you know, that's been like a lot of the conversation, this, this, uh, you know, like this show and, and just we're like in the middle of like strategic planning, which like, you know, I mean, I worked in advertising, so like strategic yeah. planning actually is what birthed grid life because I was like thinking like that, sure, you know, which sure. yeah. I could have never done in my 20s. You know, that like all came with a kind of professional experience. But, um, you know, it's like uh, it's grid life's evolved to the point where there's like an ecosystem that people can flow through, yeah. you know, and it, it it's there's I know there's people running around talking about their, their grid life season here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, and and things of that nature, or like the things that they want to do or like, oh, I'm, I'm a content creator and I want to shoot things at grid life or like i'm a i'm a racer and i want to build this program to like you know go to these festival events and you know so i think um you know that was like our our mission statement is motorsports inclusion so like i think about grid life was really built around like my own automotive journey right like i you know got a crx uh you know went to the auto zone got led washer nozzles (laughs) you know like you know and kept moving down that path right yeah yeah you know like apc all day baby you know like like, (laughs) and uh you know and then and then just kind of started to get a little bit deeper and gain more knowledge and got into you know japanese track culture and then like wanted to actually take that step and then it wasn't really easy to take that step i had to push you know to like find the org and and, uh, you know, like finish uh, understanding that like a uh, next chapter of the story. So we try to like present that, you know, so like that's that's the reason why our, our events are multifaceted, you know, and they have music and they have this car yeah. show component and they have a camping component and they yeah. have, you know, it's the reason why we when we do we're not a drifting organization, but we have drifting, yeah. you yeah. know, and, and it's why we do it on racetracks, you know, is to provide that context so that road yeah. racers can see and understand and like all that stuff. So, yeah. you know, I think, uh, that's the, the real goal is to kind of be, uh, you know, is to like provide the understanding to the, to the story of motorsports yeah. Yeah. specifically. So, and, uh, and yeah, the, the, the demographic is, is younger and that's, it's got strategy around it now, yeah. but like it was really authentically crafted yeah. based off it of feels like, like you guys are really bringing motorsports to the masses like we're all yeah. here to have a good time yeah and th- yeah. well like motorsports too like uh you know there's 
I don't know, like marketing stuff or like top of the funnel, sure. you know, sure. like we're in the middle, you know, like yeah. we're the middle of the, of the story, okay. you know, like we're not the top, we're not here. It's like, you know, and uh, even when you, when it comes to motorsports, like that's a niche of a niche, just like, you know, any particular one brand Absolutely. or, yeah. you know, like all that stuff. So, and then also motorsports is really big, right? So we're, you know, we're a grassroots organization with uh, a lot of, you know, privateers and builders yeah you know, and shops that are involved. Right. But yeah. then when you look at racing, there's like this pro level. So we're like, there's like a B2C economy that we exist in. There's a B2B economy, yeah. you know, and like, it's all kind of the same story. So like, you know, grid life really means like any grid anywhere, Okay, you yeah. know, and it's like really about like taking all of this, you know, and trying to connect anybody who wants to connect to motorsports and like understand it or participate in it or, yeah. you know, be close to it. You know, like that's the goal. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. awesome. I, thinking through, I think most of it, voca you went to a vocational school as well, Mike, right? For automotive. Also yeah. went to a vocational school for automotive. And it makes you think, you know, if there was a culture like this at that time and you can kind of see all the different areas you can go in throughout the industry, it doesn't have to be, you know, that one direction or that one path. Yeah. It's, hey, this is this is one massive industry from motorsports yep. yeah. to just general automotive repair to manufacturing and vendor work and and um and progress that they're making throughout the industry you can go anywhere in the yeah, industry you got to start somewhere yeah but yeah. the options are kind of endless once you really start thinking about it yeah and 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 broadening those horizons yeah i mean i i think uh you know even in like our you know like our paddock and you know it's like thinking about like being reflective about like where we were and where we are and like also the where the people in the community and like what they're doing and yeah, yeah. you know like it's always been a goal to kind of uh present you know like present grassroots motorsports for the purposes of making the hobby easier to stay in because okay. it's expensive you know yeah. so like we've got you know just regular people that are able to build like small programs that like help them you know like stay in the hobby and you know all, all that yeah. type of stuff right wow so if i, if I were to throw up a flyer and I'll, I'll put you on the spot just because it seems interesting and i'm kind of going to relate it back to some of the work we do with shops and mm -hmm. shop management and yeah stuff. Where, where do you think is a good starting point like if, if someone some of the younger guys you meet coming out you're you're back you're now that that 20 something year old guy and you're like i like coming out to grid life man but i want to i want to i want to do a job how do i how do i make this a job uh, yeah uh, a job career? what what are some paths that i could take uh, as that guy and maybe uh yeah any ideas there um, kind of open ended, I know. Yeah, well, I mean, super, with it. super open ended, uh, you know. But I, I think, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just showing up, you yeah. know, and like, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, pick up pick up the broom and help, you know, sure. like, yeah, sure. you know, yeah, like from true. a from a race team perspective, you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, again, in in I don't know, like passion industries are like it's like hard if I think about like drivers with us, you know, like a lot of that is like hobbyist. Yeah. stuff you know yeah. but um you know i think uh as far as like racing um you know like like with anything you just like kind of com commit to it and like throw yourself in it just be around you know like yeah. be around yeah. you know like be, be, be helpful yeah be curious yeah. you know um you know and uh uh you know and like be a value to like whatever yeah. you know whatever you're entering into you know like i look at it with with media and content you know because we've had a lot of like we have a lot of photographers that I've seen or like videographers that like sure. come in like with that fire in their eye and then they like just they're just at it. Yeah. You know, they just push. Yeah. They just push at the Do ceiling, it. push yeah. at the ceiling until they break through, you yeah. know, and then uh, because because the industry, um, you know, is is it's big, but it's small. Yeah. You know, so like it, and there's a lot of like energy out, energy in. So like, you know, carrying yeah. that like right attitude and like networking well and yeah. like being consistent and reliable, you know, and whatever you're trying to do, you know? So like, nice. I don't know, I, I, I equated a lot to like, uh, the character yeah. of the individual and like yeah. kind of the, the ethic, um, you know, and, uh, and then you can kind of like, yeah, go from figure there. out what sure. you, what, what yeah. you like and what you want to do and double down on those principles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, lo I love the show up idea. I mean, I'm lucky enough to work in automotive software and it's yeah. only because I was like, I started going into shops. And I was like, I want to, I want to work here. Yeah. 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 I can't <laughs> turn wrenches. What else can I do? Oh, okay. I can run, I can run the office. Okay. I learned how all that part. Now I'm into software and it's really cool. Yeah. The just, curiosity. Just show up and be around. Yeah. 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 Oh, there yeah, I mean, the subwoofers. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, there's, there's like in anything and any success for, you know, like there's a lot of influencers and whatever, like there's, there's very little luck. Sure. Yep. You sure. know, like, like everybody's working. Yeah. You know, like you, you have some of the most perfect segues. <laughs> nice. In, in, influencers. 
what's your take or what do we all think about social media and the how it's inspiring the next generation of enthusiasts and the community in in the automotive industry is it is it helping sure yeah. or is it is it also maybe hurting us in different ways that maybe we we're kind of turning a blind eye to but maybe shouldn't yeah. be Sure. I mean, I, I think with anything that like has scale like that, there's always like a, you know, like a, a, a good side and a dark side to sure. it, you yeah, know, yeah. for sure. lack of a yeah. better, yeah. a better term. You know, I think, I think what's really interesting in, in this moment. And I mean, I think to, to, to answer the question, yes, like it's an, it's an essential part of this. Uh, everything yeah. is a story. Yeah. Right. And like all these builders are telling stories and all these attendees are telling their story. So like to have a platform, you know, and to be able to like, put that information out and like, you know, your preferences and all that stuff, you know, it's all just additional amplification. So it is, it is incredibly helpful and incredibly important, um, you know, for, uh, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just a part of everyday life too. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. um, you and know, but you I first think started out, you said even like, you know, where's my people, you where know? are my people? Right. Yeah, like, so, I'll, so, I'll like... so social media has made it so much easier for you to like, kind of find your people. I mean, like people, my people were on forums, previously yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know oh, yeah. So, we've, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. we've all been there yeah my people Still are forums, yeah. you know and, and now they're now they're elsewhere you know but like i think all that stuff is like um you know kind of the detriment of it is like to make sure that we're, we're not trapped in the digital space which is where like events like sema events like grid life you know yeah. uh, other events you know allow those things to like become tangible and yeah. those relationships to become to real yeah. you know and yeah. like and yeah. like those things to extend out of like uh you know like just a consumption perspective to an interaction perspective so yeah. i think that that's like super you know super important and there's maybe like a little bit of watch outs in in regards to you know to that you yeah. know potentially i think yeah. there's a really interesting thing happening in um you know kind of just the influencer space as a whole because you know, like when Gridlife started in, in 2013 and, and, you know, there's a lot of other companies that were rising at the same time, Hoonigan, Donut, um, you know, so there was a, a whole lot Big of like, kind of yeah, just kind of these yeah. gangs of individuals that like helped shape, yeah. you know, the industry yeah. and the preferences towards things and like introduce new things, subwoofers, Sub <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and time. now, you know, at this moment, right, like those, you know, come through the various stories, like uh, those, those, the gangs broke up. Right. Oh, but yeah. all the individuals oh, yeah. are still players in the space. Right. So I'm running into like, you know, Brian Scotto and like, you know, uh, a, a, you know, Vin and a bunch of other people like they're all doing things. Right. So yeah, like yeah. all the, you know, like we had these like, uh, you know, everything like, Bre like yeah, all the off. all the atoms yeah. are out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah, at, yeah, some, yeah. at some point, like, you know, all of those, uh, you know, influential thinkers and all those people that have like progressive and ideas yeah. that push the industry, you know, 10 years ago are going to figure out what their next is. Right. You know, so like I think you're probably going to see like a little bit of a content shift or or something happen in regards to that just yeah. because there's 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 people pushing and thinking about what the, they don't want to repeat what they've done. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, um, so that's either going to like add an, another category or we'll see like, you know, kind of a rise in, in content style. But it's like you think about like how automotive content has changed so much from, you know, Jim Kana, which really like pushed it to its next talk yeah, about breaking know, the scene. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's next phase. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, now a, 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 the ability to like craft, you know, like cinematic uh, video yeah. and cinematic like that's content a style you know, is, for sure. But, but it's also like everybody has access to it yeah. because yeah. of equipment and yep. things like that. And then there's like, you know, more uh, um, disposable content for lack of a better term, which is your daily yeah. vlogging sure, and things sure. like that. And, there's clickbaity things yeah, and there's like, yeah, podcast, <laughs> right. There's podcasts and there's stories and like, yeah. so there's all this, there's all this ways to tell narrative. So I think like, that's probably like the, the most, you know, most interesting thing is to see like where that heads, like what's yeah. the next thing that yeah. is going to like really make that like massive, you know, impact through our culture. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things making a ton of impact in like small niches sure. and, and all that sure. type of stuff. So like, I think that's, that's what I'm like kind of looking for is like, what is the next What's the next gym kind of five moment? Okay. Okay. Oh, you know, like, I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. Chris, one and the team here, one final question. Um, along this path and the, the kind of the conversation we've been having, what would we tell or what should we be telling, you know, businesses out there that employ younger professionals in this space? Like what's maybe a bit of advice that you would say is, is helping keep folks passionate about what's going on in the industry? Um, oh, man. That Dude, is a these, tough one. These are deep thoughts. Like, yeah, that requires a little bit of pontification. Yeah. I mean, I think it like it kind of I mean, told it, us you were a pontificator. Yeah, yeah it, it kind of. I mean, it kind of ladders back to the you know the point about the entry, right? Like, so it's you know it's. Uh, 
uh, work is a grind too, right? Yeah. And I think, yeah. um, you know, like uh, it's one of the things even, you know, I struggle with, right? Like I love cars and I like come from that culture and now it, you know, like I'm lucky enough, you know, and like blessed enough to where yeah. like I was able to craft that into something that like occupies, you know, my every day, but it also occupies my every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, uh, like the, the balance of those types of things and like, um, you know, like, uh, uh, like, I don't know, just, just having, you know, like reminders of the, the, the things that are cool about it. I mean, you mentioned at the beginning, like kind of, you know, the cars outside of the workplace, yeah. you know, and yeah. like the stories that they enable and the experiences they enable and like that type of stuff. So, I mean, I think, uh, it's all like kind of an, a full ecosystem, right? Yeah. You like work in it, you know, work in it, play in it, you know, yeah. and like trying to keep that balance. But yeah. that, I mean, that's the story with anything, yeah. you know, it's yeah. like yeah. love music, get into music, you know. <laughs> God, you know, I hate Don't this show. Yeah, I hate this show. Yeah. 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 yeah, like, I mean, we do music as well. So, like, you know, like the, the people in the music industry, I was like, do you guys even like music? <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't listened to music in 35 yeah, years. Yeah, like, I stopped listening to music as soon as I started working in this industry. You know, so, like, <laughs> right, so I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, just balance, you know, yeah. in regards to that, right? Like, so... Uh, yeah, it's even, it can always become a grind, yeah. you know? I like that. Balance. Create yeah. create those opportunities. Yeah, I'll tag up on it. I think I think the idea you mentioned that kind of pinged for me was like that consume, right? You mentioned it with the social media. Like, we consume a lot, but feed on that instead of just consume. Yeah, like yeah. Like, feed and, and grow from yeah, it, it to the, find your enjoyment. Yeah, right? like find inspiration through those yeah. things, right? Which is what, like, SEMA is really, you know, like events like this are really beneficial for me. Yeah. It's like even I, I get, like, a little bit of anxiety, like, coming into it. I was like, what am I even going to do here for three days? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, and I was like, ah, oh, what conversations am I going to have? And then it just, like, starts happening. These guys are going to bull me to a chair and make well, me I mean, talk I, for I don't know, but it's just like, it's like, it becomes like this, just, uh, it just becomes authentic, you know, yeah. and like, it, you know, things, you, like, stand in one spot and you're like, man, I've gotten like a whole lot done or I've had like a whole ton of conversations just here because yeah. like I forgot my people are here. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I, I forgot, you know, like a little bit. So yeah. like you, you get, you know, kind of like stressed out about like, I got to have all these meetings or I got to have these conversations or I need to feel this level of accomplishment, yeah. you know, and then like you remember that, uh, you know, like a, a lot of people in this industry, you know, like chose to be here sure. because yeah. it's like, yeah. it's like sure. you know, it's, 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 it's passion first in a yeah. lot of cases. So like, trying to trying to uh it all needs to be sustainable which you know like the events we do like all that's always a struggle yeah. especially me as a creative you know i'm like yeah it's cool like i think <laughs> i can make that run flat yeah. you know like which doesn't which just doesn't work the same way that it did in 2013 <laughs> <laughs> you know so uh you know but it's like it's like all that dance and like remembering you know like wh why why do you why do you like cars in the first place yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, that's a great question it's very simple but makes yeah. you think back it throws you really far back yeah into your childhood of like why why that yeah <laughs> like why that you know and like uh yeah i mean there was a time where like it's all i did and it's certainly not all i do now and that's right. important you know that's yeah. important too yeah you know like so that's awesome guys any final questions for chris or any comments uh no questions just comment thank you so much man it's yeah. hey yeah. this so was awesome fun to yeah. like hang and just yeah, yeah for sure yeah i mean this, awesome. is this is the second podcast i've done uh this week you know and this is this is cool cool format right. i'm like yeah, stoked to just like chat. <laughs> I mean, when you first asked me that, you know, the question, I was like, oh, I don't know. I didn't even think about <laughs> what I liked or what I didn't like. You know, so uh, yeah, it was yeah. cool. Thank you for having me. Yeah. No, thank you for being here. Um, for any of our listeners listening, where where can they go to learn if they haven't seen Grid Life yet or heard about it or experienced it? Where could they go and, and check out, learn more about it? Yeah. So uh, our website is uh, grid grid dot life. So no dot com on it. It's grid dot um, awesome. And then all of our socials are, are grid life official. So uh, we were going to be announcing our, our 2025 season soon. So that'll be nine events across nine the events, country. Right. Nice. Um, so um, yeah, come out and see us. I'm Sounds personally good. interested in some of the B specs stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, we yeah. may have to make a trip yeah, out the, there, guys. Yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah. That's uh, that's got its own that's got its own subculture, right? Okay. So like right. yeah, and like our <laughs> We designed our, our competition classes. They're, they're really designed around uh, cost of uh, like participation. Yeah. So yeah. like that, uh, you know, that class, uh, you know, the, the Sunday Cup or Club SD class. Oh, is, the Honda Fits. Yeah. It's like, I love Honda Fits. Like, we're we're going to get down a tangent right now. All right. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, you can, you can get on. I mean, I think the point of that in motorsports inclusion, you can get on track. You know, you don't have to overthink it. Yeah. You know, have a good you, time. Yeah. You don't have to yeah. overthink it. Yeah. You know? 
right. Awesome. So, good guys. Good track, guys. All right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. Chris, once again, thank you so hey, much. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>